The crop is beginning to come in at this coffee market in the Jima region of the Ethiopian highlands. Traders have arrived to examine the quality of the fresh beans. If the beans aren't dried correctly, they'll pay the farmers less. For his entire 50 kilo harvest, this farmer receives the equivalent of about 50 US dollars. Coffee expert Tedese Golo from Addis Ababa University says the traders are paying too little. Farmers can barely survive on these prices. The real money, he says, is being made elsewhere. In Europe, a cup of coffee can be about two dollars and from one kilo you can produce between 75 and 100 uh, cups of coffee. So you can imagine how much the different uh, people at the, on the different chain earn and the least is earned by the farmers. To compare, turnover at the U.S.-based coffee house chain Starbucks totaled more than nine billion dollars last year. Around 80 percent of that came from coffee sales. It would be a great help to farmers if they could increase their coffee yields. In the highlands of Ethiopia, Tedese Golo and his German colleague Franz Gatzweiler from Bonn University think they have found an answer. Here in the midst of the forest undergrowth, a huge variety of wild coffee plant strains thrive. Together, they're a unique genetic resource that could be used to cultivate new varieties that would benefit farmers. We've calculated the potential value of these plants at between 0.5 and 1.5 billion U.S. dollars a year. The high value is due to their significance for future coffee cultivation. We could cultivate varieties that are more disease or drought resistant, for instance. But before these rare varieties can be further investigated, measures must be taken to protect the tropical rainforest where they grow. Entering the last remaining pristine areas of Ethiopian forest is strictly prohibited by law. But despite that regulation, more and more of the forest is being burned to clear land for cultivation. Just a few years ago, these fields were covered in dense forest. People are hungry for land that yeah. can be quickly used to provide income. Often, all that's left of ancient giant trees like this one are their charcoal stumps. Scientists are doing all they can to convince farmers to preserve the forest and its valuable wild coffee plants. But the farmers see it differently. They say it's unfair that the police persecute them for trying to use rainforest resources. Some of them say they've even spent time in jail. There's not enough land for everyone. That's why we want to clear some of the forest and cultivate the land. And we also want to pick the wild coffee growing there and sell it. If we don't do that, what good is the protected rainforest to us? With a family of ten to feed, Galeta says he can't afford to heed the scientists' arguments. The farmers have very little land of their own. They will not uh, continue to maintain the coffee and the, the, the forest resources. So in order to help them get income and also live from their income, I think there is the need for marketing. The conserved genetic resource is public good, but if you so the, this public good, if, if we leave the conservation of this public good to the farmers only, it will be a danger of loss. Despite the ban, deforestation is continuing at an alarming rate. In a nearby lumber mill, the scientists discovered the remains of an African plum tree, a species threatened by extinction and under international protection. The mill workers are using the rear wood to make roof battens. Tedese Golo confronts the mill owner. He says he bought the tree from a local farmer. But Golo is certain the tree was taken from a protected area. <laughs> The government restrictions on felling trees are making it harder and harder for us to make a living.
Over the last 30 years, 60% of the Ethiopian forest has been destroyed. If scientists are unable to convince local farmers of the importance of conservation, the destruction of the country's remaining rainforests will continue unabated. And if that happens, the wild Arabica coffee that grows here is also likely to disappear within the next two decades, along with its genetic secrets.